thank you, Lord. How many of you know God is great and greatly to be praised? Thank God. Let's put our hands together with the choir as they finish up saying God is great. time and give God some praise. All right, God is great. If somebody said great to be praised, lift your hand to heaven in thanks and glory and praise for the Lord God Almighty. He's wonderful and a delivering Savior and all that we can need and all that we can desire for God is great. Hallelujah. Can you praise him a little today? Can you thank him? Can you bless him? Can you let him know you love him and appreciative for all that he's done. Loading us daily with benefits. Hallelujah. Raising up our bowed down heads. Oh, bless our God. What a wonderful Savior. Somebody just magnify him just a moment. For God is great and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. I tell you, who couldn't love a God like this? Isn't he wonderful today? Amen. We thank God for you. From the book of Romans, the 8th chapter, while you're standing, Romans 8 and 31, if we want to take time to thank God for each one of you that have turned your dials this way, may God richly bless you. And we want you to know that we're thankful for all of your correspondence and your phone calls to this ministry. We call it the ministry of faith, power, and deliverance, knowing without a doubt that God is great and he has the power to deliver you out of any God is great. I'm in Romans 8 and 31. We will read one scripture together. It's a familiar scripture, but certainly a scripture today that we need, amen, to apply to our lives, to understand that God has the power to do all things well. And let us read it in Romans 8 and 31. What shall we say then to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Can we say amen? amen? You may take your seats today. Don't forget those of you that care to write us. The St. Mark Church Post Office Box 20599. That's Chicago, Illinois. Our zip code is 60620. We'd love to hear from you. And as the choir just rendered the song, God is great. God is great. Hallelujah. And we praise him and thank him and love him because he's wonderful to our lives, to our souls. I tell you today, when you look at the situation, uh, I'm speaking global-wise and see the needs and the problems and, and, and certainly how things are uh, situated in life. You know without a doubt that we need God on our side. And, and when you read this uh, Romans 8 and 31, what should we say to these things? What things? Anything. Anything you're going through. Any problem that has occurred to your life. Any situation that has produced hardships and difficulties and trouble what shall we say to these things you know what we can say if God be for us who can be against us isn't that something to think about so you know what that's doing that that's that's inferring that our confidence is in God our confidence is not in the arm of flesh our confidence is not in man our confidence is not in what we have what we have accumulated in this life but our confidence is in God 
and if God be for us. And I, I, listen, that, that's a small word, but it has a colossal meaning. If God be for us. Amen. If God be for us, who can be against us? See, we worry sometimes about the magnitude of the situation. We, we, we're overly concerned about how problems and things have entered into our life. How are we going to get out of this trouble? How in the world can we escape out of this situation? But it's not God's will that we are overly concerned about those things because God is for us, see? And when God is for us, amen, God makes the difference. It doesn't make no difference how big the situation is. I say, I say so often, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. You can bring them down through Christ, amen. You can bring them down through the anointing of God's word and faith and trust in what he says. And if God be for us, just listen to that. If God be for us, who can be against us? Tell somebody you don't have a worry in the world. You don't have to worry about anything when God is for you. God, I mean, when God's on your side, what are we worried about devils and demons for? When God's on our side, people's worried about folks putting hex on them and vex on them and all type of, amen, witchcraft mess. You don't have to worry about that when God's on your side. Because if you read the scripture correctly, if God be for us, look what he said. Who can be against us? See, we're going to go through a lot of things. Tell somebody, we're going to go through a lot of things. Before you reach your heavenly bliss, before you reach that city of holy New Jerusalem, before your, your, your listen, before your, 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 your situation is over, amen, before this journey is over here, you're going to go through a lot of things. But thank God, God's on our side. Touch somebody, say, God's on our side. I was listening to the testimonies and listening to the people of God, giving God praise for what he's done. And I tell you, amen, right you are for giving God praise and magnifying. God merits all of the praises that we can muster up. Everything that we can say good, everything that we can say in a glorified manner belongs to God. But see, what you have to understand, the devil going to throw some bolo punches. He's going to throw some big things at you. And I know some of you lately have probably gotten news and people have spoken things and you say, this is a real situation here. This situation, is going gonna, it's gonna to take more than me. Yes, it is going to take more than you. That's why God is with you. God is for you. God's on your side. And when God's on your side, you don't have a worry. Tell somebody, you don't have a worry in the world. No matter what kind of trouble it is, God has the power to take you out of it. Amen. I would be less than a minister of God than to let you know no matter what the situation is, God can deliver you out of it. Oh yes, it gets rough, it gets tough, and amen, sometimes it gets so hard it makes you cry. Anybody ever cried here? Tell somebody, I've cried, honey. I've shed it tears. Things got so hard. I said, Lord, hallelujah. Can it get any worse? When it rains, it pours. But thank you, Jesus, if God be for us. Look what he said. Who can be against us? Yes, the enemy might seem to be magnified 10,000 times 10,000. The devil is speaking and huffing and puffing and say, I'll blow your house down. But you have to understand God is on your side. You don't have a worry in the world put your faith in him and put your trust in him for Paul said it like this that our faith should not stand in the wisdom of men but in the power of God tell somebody say my faith is in him say my trust is in him my, my confidence is in him I believe God's going to bring me out I believe God's going to deliver me from this situation shout amen somebody how do you know that you're going through something that is too hard for you and see that's what the devil does he brings things too hard for you he brings problematical situations that you can't get out of amen that is almost inescapable for your life and you say Lord it's gonna take more power than what I have God say that's what I'm there for oh bless our God that's why my presence is with you and that's why I want you to put confidence and trust in me so I can show you the way out of this situation somebody said but Lord there's no light at the end of the tunnel God said I am the light hallelujah put my put your trust in me and and I will deliver your soul. 
I'll make you whole. I'll put joy back in your heart. And sometimes we get in such situations, honey, look like the joy. Just take wings and fly away. But God said, I'll restore your joy. God said, I'll restore your praises. I'll restore your testimony. God said, I'll restore the things which the devil has stolen from you and taken away from you. I'll return it back to you. And we say hallelujah. And even though the devil has come with this attack, and honey, the devil come with attacks that you can, can't even imagine. You say, look at this devil. You have to stand back and say, look how this devil's coming against my life. He must think I'm not a child of God. But hold on to the horns of the altar. Know that God is there for you. Know that God has spoken to the hearing of your ear. If God be for us. Look at somebody say, if God be for us, who can be against us? Come on, devil. Come on with your army of demons. Come on with your mess. Come on with your trouble. I'm ready to take your arm because God is on my side I mean the Lord's on your side today shake somebody's hand say the Lord is on my side and is there anything too hard for him oh bless our God Hey, listen, God can bring you out, honey, when nobody can bring you out, when nobody can deliver you, when nobody can make a way, when nobody can show you the way out. God said, I will deliver you, and I will bring you out. Oh, hallelujah. Tell somebody, I said, I'm a witness to it. How many you a witness tonight? How many you know God can do it? See, now, if you don't know that, listen, you don't know what I'm talking about. But when you get down in the crevices, in the crouches, when you get down, hallelujah, in the problems and in the depth of the problems, and when you get in a situation and say, wait a moment, I'm going to need some deliverance. Honey, I'm not going to need Superman. I'm not going to need Batman. I'm not going to need Catwoman. I'm going to need Jesus on my side. And if God be for us, my, 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 my. Look at somebody say, if God be for us, oh, glory to say, who can be against us? Can we say hallelujah? Look at the patriarchs and look at the Old Testament people. Look at how God did Samson. Look at how God did Jeremiah. Look at how God did David. Brought them out of situations. Brought them out of problems. The devil thought he had David one time. Oh, I got you now, David. But David put his trust in the Lord. David said, I will trust him. Hallelujah. I will look to him. Can we say hallelujah? And then he said, I'd rather put my trust in the Lord than to have confidence in princes. I'd rather put my trust in the Lord than to have confidence in man. Because man will put you up and run out from under you. But if God put you up, God said, behold him there to sustain your life. Say yeah. Say hallelujah. Clap your hands. Say yes, God. Say if God be for us, say who can, say who can be against us. Can we say hallelujah? I want to go to a scripture here in, in Psalm 3 and 5. Can we say hallelujah? Oh, I tell you today it's beautiful. Aren't you glad you're in the hands of God? Aren't you glad God's in your life? I wouldn't know what to do without him. I've leaned on him too long. I've depended on him too long. I said, God, you're my all in all. You're all I need in the time of trouble. You're all I need when situations get tough. You're my savior. You're my deliverer. You're my way maker. My burden. My burden bearer. Say it. Can you say glory? Now touch somebody say all I need is God. Because if he be for us, say if he be for us, who can be against us? Tell the devil to come on and take your best shot. But God told me if I hold on a little longer, if I wait on him, if I look to him, he is there to deliver my soul and bring me out the situation. Say glory. Hey, look at somebody say if God be for us. How many know God is for you? Tell somebody say God is for you. I'm preaching to somebody. You're listening, watching the telecast. And God told me to tell you, 
don't worry about it it's all in his hands he told me to tell you he's a God of deliverance he's a God that will bring you out when it look like things are not going your way put your trust in him put your confidence in him put your faith in him and tell the devil God is for me and who can be against me say yeah say glory clap your hands say here's God before us come hey let me know it's for you shake somebody's hand say I know it's for me say I know that I know that I know I know it's for me the reason why I know it's for me he brought me out the last situation hallelujah the reason why I know it's for me he's lightened the burden and I can praise him and joy in him and I told him the other day in thy presence is fullness of joy I have joy in the morning I have joy in the noonday and when evening time come I get ready for bed joy I said joy is in my soul got to I said put your confidence in him say put your trust in him how you gonna call for a lie or you're gonna confide in him or you're gonna tell him I can talk to you hallelujah because you never sleep and you never slumber at 6 a.m. and 2 after 6 call on it I said call on him God will not disappoint you God will not abandon you there's hope in him in a time of distress in a time of depression in a time of situations there's hope that's about there's hope in God confidence say confidence and this is the confidence that we have in him that whatsoever we asked according to his will he heareth us and if we know that he hear us we have the petition that we desire of him he said I will deliver you he said I will make a way you can't see it you don't know it but it's there because I am the Lord say glory clap your hands say God will say God will make a way can we say hallelujah tell somebody say, I know it's gonna happen say because God is on my side and if God be for us tell somebody of God be for us say who can be against us can we say glory when we look at the story of David and Goliath I have you to know Goliath was a giant with a weaver beam on top of his spear hallelujah he had a great big shield and somebody going before him carrying the shield somebody said David you took on more than you can do you bit off more you can chew but I have to tell people if God is for us I don't care how big the devil is come against him if you got to look straight up in the sky and look at that devil and say devil the God I serve is able to deliver me say yeah say glory to tell somebody if God be for us say if God be for us who then can be against us the Bible let us know five smooth stones tell somebody five smooth stones a slingshot made out of rubber bands can we say man and two little sticks from an olive green tree can we say glory can we say thank you but the Lord he can take weak instrumentalities and hallelujah confound even the wise he can take weak things and bring down strong things can we say glory does somebody say look to him say when you get in trouble say look to him when this problem look to him let your faith be asserted in his words he said I will I'll never leave you I'll never forsake you can we say hallelujah now you know the story how David brought down Goliath can we say man that was only one episode of faith but I heard him telling 
brother Gideon. He said, Gideon, you got 32,000 men, but you got too many people to be saved glory to, because if I let you have all these men, hallelujah, you will save my own hand by deliverance and save me. Can we say glory? Here's what I do, Gideon. I take the men down to the water, and when I take them to the water, I'm gonna test them for you. How many know God will test things for you? That's somebody say God will test things for you. He'll test your friends. He'll test your husbands. He'll test your wives. He'll test your acquaintances. Say yeah. Say glory. The Bible said. God said, wait a moment. The ones that's not going with you. He said, I'm going to go back home. And the Bible said 22,000 men out of 32,000 walked off and left Gideon. Hallelujah. And Gideon was standing there with 10,000 men. But I heard God saying, Gideon, you still got too many. Don't forget I'm with you. And if I'm with you, I'm more than the odds that all against you. Can we say glory? Can we say thank you? Gideon said, wait a moment. Let's take them down to the water. When they got down to the water, God said, everyone that lacked water, just like a dog, put them on the side. But he that get on his knees and drink water, he said, let them go home. Can we say glory? Can we say thank you? Look at somebody say 300. Tell somebody say 300. 300 nights and the Amalekites. Hallelujah. They took up camp on the north side. But Gideon said, wait a moment. I only have 300 men. But God said, divide them. Divide them up in armies. Hallelujah. Companies of three. Can we say glory? And Gideon said, here's what I want to do. I got to do what God say. I got to obey God. There's thousands of Amalekites. There's thousands of Midianites. And we have 300 men. But look at Gideon, when he came to a certain place, some man began to tell him about a dream. He said, I had a dream, and the dream said, there was a cake of barley, and the cake of barley came into the tent of the Midianites, and the tent began to fall. Can we say glory? The Bible said, hallelujah, he began to tell Gideon, that means God had delivered the Midianites into your hands say yeah say yeah say i don't care where the devil come from say i don't care who the devil is say i don't care how big he is greater say greater greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world say glory say glory say glory put your hand together and praise him Tell somebody, say, if God is for us, say, if God is for us, say, I'm not worried about a thing. If God is for us, I'm going to go through the test. If God is for us, I'm going to go through the fire. If God is for us, I'm going through the water. If God is for us, I'm going through the storm. If God is for us, I can make it. Tell somebody, I can make it. Wow! Good God Almighty. Tell somebody, I can make it. Say, I know that I know. Say, I got to hang in there. Say, I got to wait on him. I have to look to him because my trust and my faith is in God. Can we say hallelujah? Gideon said, wait a moment. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to do like I did. Take a lamp, hallelujah, and then take hallelujah picture and don't put no light in the picture but here's what i want you to do when the time come say the sword of the lord and the sword of gideon can we say hallelujah you know what that means it ain't only gideon by himself but god was on his side god was with him say yeah oh my 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 hallelujah Touch somebody say God is with me. Touch somebody say God is with me. 
it's not just you evangelist it's not just you deacon it's not just you hallelujah brother but God is with you when you're saved when you're delivered when you relinquish all when you said take my life and walk in me and dwell in me and live in me and work through me God I know you're there I can feel your presence I can feel you in the midnight hour I can feel you when the devil's coming against me when he's speaking into the hearing of my ear and telling me I'm not gonna make it say devil do you know who you're talking to you're talking to a child of God a child of the king can we say glory touch them I say we'll make it say we'll make it say because I can do all things through Christ which strengthened me it gets a little difficult it gets a little rough it gets a little tough but God told me to tell you slack not up go forward go full speed ahead there's a green light at the intersection you don't have to stop but keep on going because I'm with you right the wave of victory right the power of God right the anointing right the name of Jesus say yeah say glory clap your hand and say of God before us that's a lot of God before us say of God before us say who can't be against us can we say hallelujah look at Gideon he got with the men hallelujah and got over there in a place called Herod can we say glory Gideon said wait a moment it's time to break the lamps it's time to light the light and say the sword the sword of Gideon the sword of the Lord can we say glory let me tell you they got so excited they got so fearful the Midianites the Amalekites they broke out and start running they weren't running toward Gideon they weren't running toward the 300 but they were running away from them God said I told you I told you if you hear my words I told you if you put confidence in me I told you if you wait on me I told you if you look to me I told you that I am God I told you I am a deliverer I told you I'm a way out of no way I told you put your hand together and say he told us tell somebody say he told us tell somebody oh bless our God say he told us can we say hallelujah can we say glory tell somebody say you know the story say you know the story God delivered him 300 men against thousands upon thousands that's why I tell you if God be for us don't worry about how big the enemy is don't worry about the quality or should I say the quantity of the enemy because I heard God telling old man Moses the Egyptians that you see today you will see no more forever can we say hallelujah can we say glory how many of you are going through something how many of you the problems have reigned in your soul the problems like an earthquake have shaken your mind the problems have been pressing upon your life well God said tonight if you hear my word tonight if you obey what I say tonight I'm sending deliverance tonight I'm gonna bring you out tonight I'm gonna take you up another level tonight I'm gonna anoint you tonight I'm gonna bless you tonight say tonight hey say tonight oh yeah 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 look at somebody say God before us tell somebody say God before us say who can say who can say who can be against us tell somebody I'm not afraid because God has not given us the spirit of fear but power he said love and a sound mind you've got to keep on going don't stop don't slow down tell the devil I'm turning it up a notch tell him say I'm turning it up a notch you thought I was gonna stop 
praising my God. I'm turning it up a notch. I'm going to praise him till times get better. You thought I was going to hold out and get dead, but I'm turning it up. I'm turning it up. I'm turning it up a notch. Say glory. Say glory. Hey, hey. Look at somebody and tell them that's God before us. Look at this Bible in Psalm 3. Psalm 3 and 5. And say, if God before us, say, who can, say, who can be against us? Can we say hallelujah? For the Lord is our refuge. The Lord is our strength. The Bible said he's a present help in trouble. Can we say, man, somebody, you don't have to worry. Even though the hills and the earth be cast into the midst of the sea. I heard the writer saying, there's a city, he said, there's a city in the city of God, there's a river, there's a stream, you know what he was talking about, the anointing, the Holy Ghost, say don't you worry, because God will not leave you, say God will not run out on you, I know you had people, I know you had flesh and relatives to run out on you, but tell somebody don't you worry, Touch the hand, say, don't you worry. God, say, God will not leave you. Say, God will run into action. Say, God will let you know that I'm there. I will deliver. I will bring you out. I will separate you. I will sanctify you. I will heal you. I will deliver you. I am your God. I am your way. Put your hand together and say, if God before us, shake somebody's hand, say, if God before us, say, who can be against us? Look what it say. What did it say, God? Hallelujah. Can we say hallelujah? Do you feel all right? Tell somebody, say, I feel all right. You know why I feel all right? Because the Lord is. Tell somebody, say, the Lord is. My shepherd. And what did David say? I shall not want. What does he do? He making me to lie down in green pastures. Honey, we're not over in those sandy pastures. We're not over in no brown grass. But it's green, honey. And when the sheep begin to chew it and digest it, nourishment comes to their life. Can we say hallelujah? He leadeth me beside the still waters. Your life is not topsy-turvy. Your life is not upside down and filled with volatility. Can we say hallelujah? But your life is a life of peace. Your life is a life of stillness because the Bible told us in the words the peace of God which passes all understanding will keep your hearts and keep your minds through Christ Jesus. Say Christ Jesus. Say Christ Jesus. Our Lord. Can we say hallelujah? Hallelujah. Here's what he said. He prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. He anointed, tell somebody, he anointed my head with oil. And what happens when he anoints it? My cup, 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 my cup. He said, run it over. Run it over with power. Run it over with joy. Run it over with love. Run it over with strength. Say glory. I said, say glory. I said, say glory. I said, say glory. Oh, he over both shot. Hallelujah. Touch somebody say, he's on our side. Psalm 3 and 5. Tell somebody he's on our side. Do you know that God's on our side? How many not gonna worry? Tell somebody I'm not gonna worry. So I came in here with a worry. I came in here with a wonder what's gonna happen next. But say, since God spoke to me. And how did God will speak to you? Say there's not a worry in my life. Hallelujah. God will take all the worries away. Amen. And you will have blessed quietness and holy quietness. And you won't have to worry about a thing because the Lord has spoken it. Amen. Even with his own mouth. We got to get to the place that our trust and confidence is in God and not in man. When you put your trust in folk, honey, every time that devil going to show up and try to let you know, I told you, amen, a friend ain't going to help you. 
I told you, amen, flesh is not going to help you. Woe unto them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and stay on chariots. Amen, somebody. They're putting their trust in the Egyptian way. But God said, wait a moment. Your confidence has to be in me. If you expect me to deliver you, if you expect me to bring you out, if you expect me to save you, amen, from this furious army, your confidence has to be in me. Can we say hallelujah? I don't know about you, but he haven't run out of victories yet. Can we say hallelujah? He's shown us a lot of victories. How many got victories from the Lord? Victories when you didn't have no money. Victories when the devil was fighting you. Victories when you didn't know which way to go. Victories when it looked like you were getting confused. Hallelujah. Tell somebody he haven't run out of victories yet. Hey, glory. He's a victorious God. He's a conquering God. He's a God that said, I will always be with you. And that's what I love about God. He'll always be with you. He's not saying I'll be near you. I'll be far from you. But I'll be with you. And honey, when God is with us, look at this. Who can be against us? Tell the devil you're a liar. Tell the devil you're not going to take me down. Honey, tell the devil, amen, that you thought you had me a few years ago. But look what God has done. Hallelujah. He's resurrected me. He's put me in a place that I can say glory. I can say hallelujah. Hey, thank you. Look at somebody say, if God before us. Touch somebody say, if God before us. Say, who can be against us? I know the choir's ready. The choir, you ought to lift your hands and say, preach, preach. Say, preach the word. We thank God for the song, but there's no victory in the song. We thank God for the music, but no victory in the music. The power, the power, the power, the power is in the word. Clap your hand and give God praise. And tell somebody, say, God is with us. My friend, I have a few minutes left on this telecast, and I want you to know I'm as excited as a bull weaver. Help us, Holy Ghost. Can we say amen? The devil is mad because people are glad, and God has made his people glad. God don't have no sad folk running around wondering where the victory is. When he told us where the victory was, the victory is in Christ Jesus. Can we say hallelujah? Tell somebody you might go through. Say, don't worry about it. Say, you might go through, but don't worry about it. Say, because God is for us. Honey, God is for those that are meek and low and humble and with a spirit of contrition. God is for those that come to him, amen, letting him know I'm in trouble and I need your help. And Lord, I implore your presence. Come on in and do what you can and do what you will.